Alright guys, so this is a video on one of our sensory type of GPCRs, our G olfaction GPCR. And basically the grand scheme of this signaling pathway is that we have a ligand bind. Uh, somehow this ligand uh, is translated to a sensory system signal that goes to the brain and says, hey, there's something smelly. So in humans we have about 30 different variants of this GPCR and um, when combined, you can imagine how we can get a pretty large diversity of, of unique smells that we can detect. So, in this case, our green ligand here is going to be an odorant floating through the air. It's going to hit this GPCR on one of your olfactory receptors in your nose. And the same deal is going to happen, uh, similar to any other GPCR. So, our alpha subunit, our G protein, uh, dissociates. Again, we have our beta, gamma subunits. Same deal happens uh, where your alpha subunit was previously coupled to a GDP. It's going to swap that GDP out with a GTP and become activated. And at the same time, your beta gamma subunits are going to go do some other sort of signaling. Oops. Let's give them a different color here. And very similar to how the epinephrine and glucagon receptors worked, uh, your alpha subunit is going to swing up and activate actually the same enzyme adenylate cyclase. So let's put that up here. Let's make them blue. So this is again adenylate cyclase. Same exact uh, first steps as uh, when, when glycogen binds, when glucagon binds uh, leading to glycogen breakdown. So we're going to take ATP and convert this to cyclic AMP. And as you might remember, cyclic AMP is a super important secondary messenger. It's going to bind and interact with a lot of different things. However, what we are concerned about in this particular pathway, in these uh, olfactory sensors, is that we're going to bind to this uh, membrane-bound ion channel. And when cyclic AMP binds to this channel, uh, we open it, meaning that this is a type of ligand-gated ion channel. And specifically, this one can be called a cyclic AMP-gated ion channel. And even more specifically, cyclic AMP-gated cation channel, because what it's going to let through what it's going to let into the cell is calcium ions and sodium ions. And again, calcium is a super uh, important secondary messenger. This is going to go do some other sorts of signaling. Uh, letting in sodium itself is actually one of the main steps in causing a depolarization or an action potential. Uh, that will be propagated down this olfactory uh, olfactory sensor. So basically, once this ligand binds, we change the membrane potential through this cyclic AMP-gated ion channel, uh, which is propagated down the axon as an action potential, and it goes to your brain saying, hey, there's a smelly smell that smells smelly. I hope this helps clear this up. Good luck studying, guys. I'll see you in the next one.